Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. As always, I'm your host, Matt. Video cameras back in action. It's a cool day today. It's 69.4 degrees in the old office, so it's okay to have some lights and the cameras happening. Uh, my last video was about Brizzy 2.0. That's a three, two. Uh, Brizzy 2.0. And some of the features that have come out in their plugin that directly impact, you know, those of you who are using Brizzy with WordPress. But my friend Joe Casabona the other day asked a question uh, on Twitter, uh, presumably about a client or a friend of his. If somebody's looking for a good site building experience where WordPress might be overkill. We all know that WordPress can be overkill in some situations, especially going through this whole COVID and pandemic. A lot of businesses are coming online. And oftentimes, like WordPress is just not the thing. It's just, it's too much uh, for somebody who just needs a literal landing page for their business, maybe a couple pages, depending on what they're doing. WordPress could be overkill in that situation. I am, maybe like yourself, have recommended Squarespace and Wix in the past, uh, but Brizzy has really come up on my radar a lot more. And that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about Brizzy Cloud. And I think that this is a fantastic uh, alternative to Squarespace and Wix and Google Sites and whatever uh, page building experience is out there because it keeps it close to home for WordPress. That's always been the thing. And when I recommend to entrepreneurs who are building websites, look, if you need to move fast, you don't have the, the time for the learning curve of WordPress, I guess go with Squarespace or Wix. It's going to get you there probably a little bit faster. You're going to pay for it, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but the challenge becomes is when you go long-term, uh, when eventually you need the flexibility and the power, uh, of WordPress, well, now that conversion back is a little bit more difficult, but Brizzy keeps you close to home or Brizzy cloud keeps you close to home. Cause you can just use the Brizzy page builder with WordPress. So let's just take a look at Brizzy cloud. Uh, I'll leave the, the links in the description below. There's a lot of stuff coming to this. This is a great alternative to these online uh, hosted platforms like a, a Squarespace or a Wix. Uh, they integrate with your most popular uh, marketing tools, MailChimp, Campaign Monitor, HubSpot, uh, Zapier, if you're looking to do something uh, a little bit extra there. It comes with all of those pro landing page and templates that we're using on the WordPress side. You can use right here in Brizzy Cloud. And that's, the, that's what I mean. Like even if you had to rebuild it on as quick as possible on WordPress, you can import all that stuff right into WordPress. You, those templates are, are available. I'm going to show you a demonstration of Brizzy Cloud in a moment. They've got some coming soon features here, collaboration to work with other users, analytics and tracking and funnels. It's really becoming a full-fledged uh, platform. And you can get a free plan, free forever. One hosted domain, uh, up to 50,000 visits monthly. And for very short money of $49 a year for three hosted domains, I think that's beating Squarespace and Wix in terms of pricing, right? So it's like, well, sheesh, why not? I can't believe I used the word sheesh. <laughs> Let's take a look at Brizzy Cloud. Great new project. We're going to move through this pretty quickly to show you a sample site and how fast it is to use Brizzy Cloud. You might get the gears turning for your next WordPress project. And I've been saying this in other Brizzy uh, videos if you're a consultant, WordPress de design development consultant, marketing consultant, or whatever, maybe you balance between two sets of customers, customers that just really don't need WordPress. It is overkill. You don't want to maintain it. You don't want to spend on, on costly hosting or whatever, but you want to also serve the customers that do use a deeper integration with WordPress, WooCommerce, they're customizing things. They're really competing in a market. You can balance. You can put some people on Brizzy Cloud. You can use some with the Brizzy Page Builder, uh, if you will. And those that graduate from Brizzy Cloud to your WordPress offerings, even better. Let's create a website. Click on Create. Uh, you have your collection of projects here. We're going to go and edit this project. And this page building experience in Brizzy Cloud is exactly the same uh, as the page building experience on uh WordPress Brizzy. We'll go to the layouts and we're just going to select from a f one of them here and build out a page. We're going to select this Kids Quest one just because I kind of like the design. And it, what I like is 
just like in the WordPress page builder, you have all of these elements here. You can select from all of these different layouts. So you have the home page, you have the about page, project details, a pricing page. So let's start with the home page. We'll import this layout. And we're done. <laughs> That's the layout already injected into this page, right? It's got all the elements there that we need. We can go in and replace uh, the content, the imagery, whatever, change the call to actions. So let's go ahead and hit publish page. And what really differs from the WordPress side of things is the, the page management and the overall site settings management. And if I click on uh, the gears icon, we now have our uh, pages admin screen, which is a lot more straightforward than say WordPress for sure. Very simplified, of course, doesn't have all of the features, but very easy. We hit add new page. It's gonna create a new page for us. Let's just create three pages while we're here. Add another page, new page three. Let's go to the settings here. We'll say that this is our pricing page. Save that and we'll just change this one to contact. Now I won't debate the uh, merits of SEO on uh, Brizzy Cloud. I, I obviously am not an SEOist, SEOer. Uh, but you have SEO metadata here. You also have it in the site settings as well if you want to change the site description and title. Uh, so they are forward thinking about that stuff. I mean, most platforms are thinking about that these days, but you know, just for the concerned. Uh, let's go into the contact page first. We'll edit this page. We'll use the same layout. Kids Quest. Uh, contact, import this layout. Boom, done. There's our contact form. The submit button is what controls the uh, settings or integrations of a contact form. So obviously it's not going to be as powerful as a, say a gravity forms or a ninja forms, which I feature a lot on this, on this channel. But you, you know, you fill out your basic email notifications. Who is this going to? It's gonna send the contents of this contact form to that person. Uh, or if you wanna integrate it into those apps, if this were a uh, newsletter fill out or something like that, or a lead registration form. It could go to HubSpot, whatever. Uh, so, you, you know, you do have the ability to integrate this into other areas. And again, Zapier really unlocks a whole bunch of potential, right? You can use it for a whole bunch of different services if it's integrated into Zapier. Let's go ahead and close this. Forgot I even had my headphones on. Uh, that's our contact page. Let's hit update. We'll go back to our pages. We'll do the pricing page. Layouts, Kids Quest, pricing page. Very, very simple. Styled already. That's our pricing page. We can go in and, and, and modify this. And this is a standard sort of three page site, especially if you're a service or a restaurant. You know, obviously, I'm using this kind of kids theme here. Uh, but if you wanted to come through and modify this site, it's very quick uh, and effective, you know, to get this stuff up with Brizzy Cloud and go back into uh, the settings. These are all, uh, of course, of the pages. They have pop-ups and lead generation stuff. In, and as you saw on their homepage, it's starting to get a little bit more advanced. You create your menu here. So you create a new menu. I'll call it primary. And you check off these three pages, add to the menu, save the changes. That's how you'll then create your menu elements. Power of their new uh, global blocks and display conditions or dynamic display conditions. We can add a new block. We can go to header, add in a header. Uh, let's adjust the location of that. I'll bring that to the top of the screen. I'll have to grab the menu element from the left-hand tray, drag it in there. Let's get rid of this. And boom, we now have our uh, menu that we just made with the three simple pages. And if we go to the global settings, and this is no different than what I've shown in the previous video for the WordPress side of things, we can make this global which will make it available across uh, all of the pages on Brizzy Cloud. 
We can go to display conditions and include this uh, across the entire site. So all pages will now uh, have this header, which also has our uh, navigation. Looks like there's a, you can select another one from that drop down when you scroll. So if we do the same, just grab this menu, drop it in here, this. And now if we go, let me just hit update. So now if we go to another page, we're currently editing the pricing page. Let's edit the home page. And there's the header that we just placed in with the drop down header. So of course, you know, this is it, right? This is this is the final product. If you were looking to build a quick site for a customer or for yourself, you know, I, this is a fair statement to say across all, a lot of the platforms out there. It doesn't get any easier than this. I mean, you can move as fast as this on a WordPress site as well once you know the platform. Uh, but you know, the biggest challenge is styling this to match your brand. Uh, obviously, the content, the imagery, that takes a lot of time. Menu structure, site structure, you know, setting up all the nuances of a site. But again, like I like Brizzy for, like I like how they have these quick styles that you can change. I mean, obviously, it's not going to work for every design that's out there. But I, I like this. They have these predefined uh, styles, and you can kind of mix and match, and just maybe see if one works. Uh, over another and changing all of the elements globally, it just works really darn fast. I, I'm just liking it more and more as a as a real tool for consultants and other marketers out there to say, you know what? We know WordPress is difficult for some people. We know we don't offer WordPress to everyone. And a lot of us, I know personally myself, send them to Squarespace and Wix. Well, you know what? Let's keep, let's, maybe Brizzy Cloud is a solution here. Maybe we can keep it closer to WordPress by using something like Brizzy because you can offload that stuff to WordPress later on. Let's go and just take a look at the dashboard real quick here on Brizzy Cloud. One of the things I really like, of course, of the intuitive interface, uh, is when you want to go to publish, you can set up a free custom domain here. So your, your domain.com you know, can point to your free uh, Brizzy Cloud. You can do a free subdomain. And one of the future videos that I want to cover is you can do a uh, a free connection to uh, GitHub, which then deploys to, this is more technical, but to those, those Jamstack CDN, Content Delivery Network type hosting providers where they turn your site into static files and assets so that you can you know have blazing fast like load time, especially if it's a small, lightweight, super simplistic page, might as well have it load lightning quick. Or you can... Uh, download the pages or sync the pages directly to your own server or export the files through HTML, which you can download now. So your options, you know, especially when people say, well, you're going to get locked into a Squarespace and a Wix. It's been a while since I've looked at their platforms super close. Uh, but that was true a year ago when I f was last logged into a Squarespace site. Brizzy not only can you go and, and start bringing this stuff into WordPress at a later date, you can host the domain here. You can do static CDN type hosting through GitHub integration and then off to like a Fastly or uh, uh, one of those types of services. You can sync it statically to your own server or download the HTML files. So pretty powerful, I'd say. So again, let me know what you think about Brizzy Cloud. Have you been leveraging it? I, I won't say everything is, is roses. Um, there are some little bugs here that we're seeing in both Brizzy for WordPress and for Brizzy Cloud uh, that I've run into that was scratching my head like, boy, why isn't that fixed yet? I mentioned this in the previous video again. Look, I think they're doing a lot. I think they're doing a lot, uh, even in the face of folks like Elementor and, and of course, the, the other juggernaut, which would be Gutenberg and WordPress. And they're going, there's a lot of things in the air with them right now. And I really hope uh, that they can focus in on one of these solutions to really accelerate um, refining this product. It's not to say it's not refined, but there's still some little bugs, little edges there, little sharp edges that just need to be smoothed out to make this product uh, a complete solution. Let me know what you think about Brizzy Cloud. What's your expectations with page builders in general? Like Elementor, their hosted cloud solution has to be coming soon. I mean, that's what I've been theory crafting for a while now, and I know a lot of you have as well. 
Uh, let me know what you think about what Elementor is going to do with a cloud solution. Have you been using Brizzy? Have you been using Brizzy Cloud? Let me know in the comments below. Plugintut.com, plugintut.com slash subscribe to join the mailing list. You should see my face more now that I have a new day job at castos.com. Creating podcasts, creating content. Uh, I will be able to get out more content on my own channel because of that, because I'll be in that creative uh, mood <laughs> a little bit more. Let me know what you want to see on the channel, what helps you uh, for future videos. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Thumbs up if you like the video. See you in the next one.